Welcome back, my dear students. We're going to be learning now how to create an HTML table. And of course, we're going to be adding CSS as well in order to style the table. And at this point, I'm already confident that you already know how to create a project. So let's create a project called table. You can place it on the projects folder that we have created at the early part of this course, which is located in our desktop, but it doesn't really matter as long as you know the location of your projects. So right over here, I already have created an index.html file. It's still currently blank. So let's go ahead and start coding. So I used Emmet to generate the template and Alt-Z to wrap the code. And for the title tag, we're going to name this table. And for the body tag right over here, before we start coding, we want to make sure that we see what is happening on our project. Let's go ahead and right click here and open with live server. And there you have it. So table has two parts. Anyway, let me just put an H1 here first. And let's type here HTML table. There you go. I want to make sure that we are at 100% view uh, point for this page. So I mentioned that the table tag, let's add first a table tag, very straightforward to create a table. Just write table and then tab on the keyboard to autocomplete. So it has two major parts, T head as well as the T body. For the T head, we can create here a row. Remember that the table, just like Microsoft Excel, is composed of rows and columns. All right, so now under T head, we can actually create a row, which is going to be the tag TR or table row. And inside this row, we can have data, right? For example, the name, username, email, or address, or things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. We can use the TH that stands for table head or header, right? Maybe the first one is going to be name, right? And there you have it, the name. And we can copy this probably four more times. And this one is going to be, for example, email. And the other one is maybe uh, a city. And the last one, uh, maybe we can delete this one. And the first T head would probably be like, a, we will pretend that this is a list of users. So the first one is going to be like a number sign, right? And after doing that, let's head over to the body. We can also create a row by using TR, table row. And instead of TH, because the header is obviously belongs to the head, right now in the body, this is where we put our data. That is why the tag is called TD. And then tab on the keyboard to autocomplete. So TD stands for table data. And this one is the counterpart for this first TH. So right over here, we can probably put one. As, as you can see right over there, let me zoom in. So that is why we put here like a pound sign or a number because what's going to happen is if we're going to duplicate this one, okay, we can have two here and then three here and then four here and something like that, all right? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let me just delete this one first and let's focus on the first row, all right? This table data is under one row and we can add more. So this one... Number one corresponds to this, and the next one is going to be our name. I'm going to type my name over here, and there you have it. The number one is under this pound sign, and my name is under the name TH. How about for the email? So I can just go ahead and paste another one here. Oops, not that one. We can copy this, actually, and paste two more times for the email and the city. For the this one, we can just go ahead and pretend that this is our email and the city uh, maybe i'll put here manila my city let me zoom out a little bit and there you have it oops sorry about that let me cancel that because i press ctrl s on my keyboard and this brings up the <laughs> save uh, or the explorer to save the file anyway let's, let's cancel that as you can see i have the first TD table data right over here under that pound sign, the name, email, and the city. And I hope that makes sense right now. Okay, so now it looks terribly ugly. The table doesn't really look like a table. We can go ahead and style this. Let's add a style that CSS right over here. 
Uh, the first is set of styling that we're going to do is just to make sure that this one will look really like a table, right? That has some like a line, a vertical and horizontal line as well as a border. So let's link our style that CSS right over here, like so. Then at the style that CSS, we are going to target this element. And we know how to target the actual element, right? We can literally just put the table because we are targeting the table. And we can have a border of one pixel for now. Okay, one pixel, if I can type correctly. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be solid. And then the color, let's have uh, black. There you go. And if we are going to do this, we know that we can target multiple elements. For example, right now, we have a, an H3 here, right? Uh, maybe let's have, let's say fruits. Okay. And H4, not HR, but H4 right over here. For example, uh, uh, plants. Okay, so we are going to target this three. Uh, let's forget about the table first for now because I'm going to show you to target multiple elements. And uh, maybe we have did that in the previous uh, videos, but it was probably not highlighted. So I'm going to focus on that right now to target multiple elements, H1, H3, and H4. We're using them. We, you, we can do this in HTML. I mean, in CSS, let me just comment that out by highlighting and pressing control uh, forward slash on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and target the H1. We also have H3 and H4. So comma and then H3, comma and then H4. All right. We are going to target them to have a background color of red. And all of them has that red color. All right. The reason that I did that, okay, because we're going to use that same concept right now with this table. So right now we are targeting the table itself. So it has a border of one pixel solid black, but there are other tags inside the table, right? We have the TH as well as the TD. So we're going to say TH comma and then TD. If we save that, now we have borders as well in TH, the table header right over here, each element each th as well as each td and right now as you can see it still doesn't look nice but at least it is already looking like a table right the traditional table that we know just like what we see in spreadsheet and this is the default behavior for html table with uh, which still ugly and uh, in my opinion <laughs> right but we wanted to have like one line right we don't need this kind of like a uh, this is style of rendering, we don't need that. We, we only need like uh, one line for the uh, columns and lines for the rows as well. So how can we achieve that? We can achieve that. There's a property called border collapse. Okay, there you have it, border collapse. And all you have to do is type collapse over here. Upon saving this, looks what's gonna happen. There you go. That is the familiar table that we know, right? very basic table but anyway even though it's a very basic table this is how you create a table in html and right now to to better understand how this works let's go ahead and copy this tr one more time and we will be able to create another row so this one we can just go ahead and edit this one and i'll try to think of a random name maybe uh, keanu and then uh, gordon okay and uh, for the email k.gordon at gmail.com, just a random thought, and maybe New York, right? And we can copy again this one and paste it probably two more times so we can have uh, four table rows inside the T-body, right? So let's just go ahead and edit the information so that it would make more sense. This is going to be number three, and let me think of a name. Atlanta, for example. All right, so there you have it. Let me maximize this one. This is how you create a table in HTML. You can actually add more styling over here 
for example, padding, right? Uh, the padding, for example, you are going to target the table data. We know that the elements that hold these values are TD. So you can have a TD right over here and set a padding, for example, 5 pixels. And you will have more spacing over here, as you can see. And of course, although right now we have achieved our lesson objectives on how to create a table using HTML and a little bit of CSS, more CSS in the next video to make this table look fancy and nice. I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.